Hi there, Randall Schwartz here, back again with just a little quick tip uh, from answering a couple of questions over the last couple of weeks. I've seen this happen twice, so I think it's probably time to get this out into the open. It's a simple one. It's going to be a bit shorter than, than the previous uh, screencast. Okay, I've got DartPad here, so you know we're not doing anything fancy. It's just DartPad. Everybody can actually play along at home if they want with this one. Okay. Here's the task. Generate a list of random numbers from 1 to 10. Okay? So that's not hard. Go up over here to the random call. You have to import Dart Math for that. So I've got that there. And create a random. I'll just call it R. And then we're, the key part down here is this R next int. That will give me back, every time it's invoked, a different integer. Hopefully different. Well... I don't know, randomly, they guess they could be the same twice in a row, but most of the time they're different. And the way next int works is you give it an int, in this case 10, and it generates random numbers between 0 and just up to that. And that's going to come into play in a second, so let's watch for that. So this is going to be random numbers between 0 and 9. Or zero, yeah, between 0 and 9. And we want 100 of them. So we're going to use the list generate function, which is really handy method, I guess. This is how many of them? 100. And then it takes a callback, uh, which takes a single parameter, which uh, will be the index number of the item we're generating. Starts out 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. We don't care about that, so we are just throwing that away with a simple underscore variable. That's the convention. If you have more than one, you use single underscore, double underscore, triple underscore. Just a convention amongst the Dart programmers. So we're just going to throw that away. We don't care about that number because what we really care about is executing this expression over and over again. Now what's the one plus in front? It's because next int is generating 0 through 9, but we want 1 through 10. Okay, so we run this code. I've already run it once, so there was a response previously. But look, we see 10. Well, there's another 10. There's some 1s. And they kind of look equally distributed. So, you know, I'm a happy programmer. I got the value I wanted. I've got a lot of fixed values in here with 1 and 10. And so I go, I want to make that a little more general. I want it to be inputs. So let's comment this out just for a second. And then we'll go down here and uncomment the rest of the code. So this is the code that people typically write when they want to parameterize this a bit. And we're going to need the min value. We're going to need the max value. And we're going to take the rest of that code pretty much lifted from the code up above. And so we have min here, which is corresponding to the one here. And then uh, we don't want max. We want max minus min, right? Because we want a range. If it's from 100 to 110, we don't, we, we, don't, we don't want 110 in there. We want 10, right? Hmm, maybe not. Let's see what that's actually doing. And first, let's see what we're actually passing to the next end. We're passing 10, our max, minus 1, which is 9. So unlike the one that worked up above, we're now passing 9, even though we think we're passing the right range. Now we run it. Time passes. There we go. Oh, look. A bunch of random numbers. Zero, or no one zeros. 1s, 3s, 5s. But notice there's no 10s. Huh. And again, I've already pointed out what the problem is. This is 10. Excuse me, this is 9. When you take the max minus the min, it's 9. It does not generate numbers from 0 to 9. It generates numbers from 0 to just before 9. In this case, that would be 8. So when we add 1 to that, you get 1 through uh, 9, not 1 through 10. What's the fix? Really simple. You go back in here, you add 1 plus. Okay? Because it's off by 1. You really want the value in there to be 10 again. And so if we take 1 through 10, we have to go 1 through 10. This is the range of that. 
but we want zero up to that number, not zero up to just before that number. Now we run. Time passes. And look, oh, look, there's more tens. 10, 10, 1, and 10. Okay, just to check it out, let's do 100 to 110. Okay, there's our min, there's our new max. Run the function. We should see hundreds all the way up to 110s. I see 100, here's 100. Uh, I see 110. We are successful. Simple trick. Got to be able to add 1 to that range because next int is 0 to just before that number when you're doing the ints. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Everybody says that. I figure I'll say that too. And uh, we'll see you again next time.